Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today we are going to be doing our finalized Nahida build for Genshin Impact. We're going to give our, our final thoughts on this character and if she's worth it. So let's get started. Before I say anything, I'm going to say I think that Nahida is god tier, top tier, must pull, in my opinion. I think she opens up so many teams. I think she's very valuable. And if you're a new player, I think she's worth it on every single person's account ever. Even as a veteran player, if you don't have her, I would recommend her because she does some pretty nutty things. Okay? Now, there's multiple ways you can build Nahida. I'm going to show you my build. I'm going to show you some optimizations because mine isn't perfect. I played this game essentially free to play the entire time. So my artifacts aren't as good as some whales. But I can dumpster everything in the game with my eyes closed. So you will be able to as well if you build the characters properly. Let's get started. I've got her talents at 9 and 9, and I haven't even leveled up her basic attack. If you want to use her as a driver and more of a normal attack user, you would want to level this up. But I have her at 9 and 9, and realistically, I should level this up and crown it. I've got all the crowns in the world. If you have a good unit like Nahida that you're using all the time, just crown them. Just do it. You want to do a main DPS unit first, a Hu Tao, an Ayaka, a Ganyu, Ayato, someone like that. You want to do them first, but after, go crown your supports. Your good supports are going to get a lot of value, get extra damage, okay? So I've got her at 9 and 9. If you look at her attributes, I have a few things to talk about. My Elemental Mastery is not that amazing compared to other people using Nahida. Some have a lot more. I have a lot more crit rate and crit damage than others may, and that's because I am using the Widsif. Uh, I want to explain why uh, on my artifact choices and why I'm using the Widsith, but there's multiple options here. So the reason I'm using the Widsith is because it's got this crit damage right on here, and if you get this to proc, you can get some very juicy, bursty damage out of Nahida, and I think it's just fun, okay? However, that being said, some other people um, will use something like the Sacrificial Fragments to give her a bunch of Elemental Mastery because her passive pushes Elemental Mastery onto your other units. I am not min-maxing that. You need like a thousand EM uh, to max it out, and I'm only getting, you know, 640 here. So I'm not getting the maximum uh, amount of EM, but it's still a juicy amount. Nothing to sneeze at, okay? But with this talent uh, right here, Elemental mastery of the active character within the field will be increased by 25% of the elemental mastery of the party member with the highest EM. You can gain 250 EM in this manner. That means if I had 1,000 EM and you're getting 25%, you would get 250 elemental mastery for your team. I guess I should move my stupid head. But uh, that is why some people will stack EM on Nahida. And if I just go like this and I swap to this bad boy right here, you can see that my Nahida would be at 841. Not bad. Nothing to sneeze at, okay? Um, as for um, her stats, you don't really need that much energy recharge. If you get it, that's cool. I'll show you my artifacts in a moment. And then crit rate and crit damage, they're always going to be adding damage. But I would say that EM, especially if you're doing elemental reactions, is going to be uh, you know a, a bonus for your team. It's going to be a boon for your team. You're going to want EM as a priority. Now, Aka Awkward, I have the wrong set equipped. I actually have the Deepwood set because for a while I was using her with the Dendro Traveler. I was using her with Tainari, and I was kind of messing around with that. But realistically, I would want to stack more EM, and that's a lot easier to do with the Gilded set, the Gilded Dream set, this one right here, okay? And I have a bunch of it on Kuki right now, but this set is going to pump out a lot more Elemental Mastery. Um, so I have a pretty good chunk of Elemental Mastery, even though I'm not using an Elemental Mastery set. So if you were pairing Nahida with another Dendro unit, I suppose you could do this, uh, which apparently is what is what I'm using. I'm using the Deepwood set to get some Dendro damage and shred the Dendro resistances. As you can see, I'm now over a thousand Elemental Mastery, and that's because I went over to the Gilded set, and I just tried to find any pieces that have Elemental Mastery on them, okay? Now, if you look at my overall stats here, I've got a tiny little bit of crit rate, some crit damage, lots of energy recharge, almost too much energy recharge at this point, but this Nahida, the other Nahida, any Nahida with a little bit of elemental mastery will cause you to win the game. She is that good, in my opinion. She's busted. And so if we look at my artifacts and we look at this gilded set, I've got an elemental mastery main stat, and we have a little bit of damage with attack percentage and crit rate and things. Sweet. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, we have another Elemental Mastery piece up here. We've got the crit rate, some energy recharge, defense. 
It's not great, but it truly doesn't matter. On this piece, we've got Elemental Mastery, some energy recharge, crit rate. Again, all you need is Elemental Mastery up here, and she's going to carry your team. She's very, very valuable uh, because the EM she can shift over. That being said, if you want to build her for damage and you want to go for the crit rate pieces, you can do that. You can go for crit rate, you can go for crit damage, you can build her as more of a damage dealer, and then instead of your other units hitting hard because of her EM, right? Instead of this being the value you're bringing to your team, it's this, the crit rate, the crit damage. She's actually going to hit hard. My Nahida can hit like 30,000 damage on her E ability every time it procs. And it's AOE, right? It's, it's like shared between different units. It's very, very good. And so either way truly will carry your account. Um, I, I think that newer players would find it easier to get elemental mastery pieces and build her like this. It's a lot easier to build this because these substats don't really matter in that case than it is to min-max with crit rate and crit damage and, and kind of do both. I think if I tried uh, to go like Dendro damage and stuff, I'm pretty sure if I swapped all these out, um, I could actually make like a pretty, uh, pretty high damage set if I truly wanted to. Just get a functioning set and she's good enough. If you want to min-max her further, you can, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily a priority. That being said, this artifact set and the deep wood, both of these are pretty good. This domain is pretty resident efficient because both of these are almost best in slot for a lot of the different Dendro characters in the game. And even some of the other characters that just want a bunch of EM, this works. Hypothetically, you could put this on like a, in like a vape comp if you wanted a, a ton of EM. I don't know if it's going to be the meta yet, but hypothetically, you could. Uh, there's even some Electro units that can benefit a bunch from this set if you really wanted to. Um, so I would go ham on this domain, get her a good set, get another unit like Kuki Shinobu a good set. Um, I don't think that there's any issue uh, with doing that. You're going to want to, for the most part, look for Elemental Mastery pieces. But that's all you need, and uh, that's approximately what I have on my account. So if you ever need to build your Nahida or you have a friend that doesn't know how to build their Nahida, they can take a look at this video and have a pretty good idea of what to do. That being said, I'm going to say one final thing. There is a weapon on here um, that would be really good for Elemental Mastery. It gives you a ton of Elemental Mastery. I don't think she needs it. I never recommend weapon banners to anyone, like ever. Um, so while you could use this, uh, I don't think that you need it. And uh, I wouldn't spend a bunch of Primo Gems because you hypothetically could miss and get a weapon that you don't want and that only functions on like one or two characters in the game. And so I would never tell you to go get a five-star weapon for a character. All of these builds will show you with four-star weapons um, or, you know, maybe you do get lucky and you've got their best-in-slot weapon, but uh, just be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks again. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.